And good afternoon and welcome to the news here on YHC. I'm Greg Schwartz and I'm along here with Garth McDonald. Garth, you are? I'm a public information officer with the Small Business Administration Office of Disaster Assistance. And there are, there's a new uh, mobile assistance station located in Bloomfield. And Garth, you're going to touch on what that is exactly and how people can use that to help them out. Well, what we've opened today, this at, at 1 o'clock today, we're opening a FEMA SBA uh, mobile disaster recovery center where people can come and get one-on-one -on -one assistance with personnel from both FEMA registering with FEMA and, and the, uh, obviously a lot of folks have heard that registration number it's important to anybody that may have been impacted by the floods tornadoes or uh, just severe storms we've had since April 19th through June 6th they should register with FEMA at the 800-331, I mean 800-621-3362. And then uh, many of those folks are going to automatically receive an SBA application for a low interest disaster loan. Um, what we do highly recommend is people fill out that application and get that into the SBA um, because there might be some damage that's not covered by insurance or they're un uninsured and they can get this low interest loan uh, from the U.S. federal government to help them recover. We're basically the long-term recovery arm of the federal disaster assistance. And so what we'll do is evaluate whether they can afford a loan. Some folks in this economy may feel like they can't take on any additional debt. They may not want a loan. They should, if they get an application as part of the federal registration process, they should send that in because if they do not get approved, if we can't offer them a loan for whatever reason, we then refer them back to FEMA for additional federal assistance that they would otherwise maybe not have access to. So um, that's one key message. Um, they should register even if they have insurance because a lot of times the insurance companies are determining that they don't have um, basically they're, they're not getting compensated for all the damage they may have there these low interest loans are available to homeowners renters businesses of all sizes and private nonprofit organizations so even though we're the US Small Business Administration many people aren't aware of these direct loans for disaster assistance that go to homeowners and renters as well um, and they can basically receive a low interest loan to repair or replace their damaged property. They can borrow up to $40,000 for personal property they may have lost. If a, if, a, if a car got flooded out and it wasn't covered by insurance, they could potentially use these low interest loans for that. Um, if they do fill out the application and they are approved, they're not required to take the loan. They can take what money they need to recover and they can actually, um, you know, only take the loan if they if they really feel like they could utilize it. So it's good not to eliminate their options to make sure you you if you do receive an application, fill that out. Now the key message that today we're opening the disaster recovery center right in Bloomfield at the high school gymnasium, uh, the concession area. It's open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Opening today at 1 till 6 and it'll be open through Tuesday the 28th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It'll close on Tuesday. So once um, those folks go to that center, they can get face-to-face -face help with our personnel, get questions answered about FEMA registration, get questions answered about uh, their loan application, get assistance right there on the spot. And so it's, it's a great to take advantage of this local assistance while it's here. Yeah, because many people will probably have questions on about how to fill out the paperwork or what's available to them. So going and getting this face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with some of these officers, it would be helpful. Right? Yeah, it's, it, you know, it, when somebody has damage, uh, there are certain areas in the county that, you know, there's they're having damage and they're not sure what their insurance company is going to do. They're not sure what's going to be you know the the entire process and, and a lot of times they're a little bit overwhelmed and we want to get uh, with these recovery centers 
we want to be there to answer questions and help them through the process. Our goal is to help folks recover as quickly as possible. We can loan funds even if the insurance company hasn't settled with someone. We can actually give them funds and any insurance recovery can go to pay back uh, the loan that they may have got from us. So we can help them get rebuilding even quicker sometimes because um, sometimes the insurance companies drag their feet a little bit. Um, we also can loan for the deductible they may have through their insurance. We can loan uh, for code changes that are required because of some sort of damage they might have incurred. So it's important uh, to not eliminate their options basically and that's where um, the federal the federal recovery services that we provide work we work very closely with FEMA to make sure even folks that have unmet needs there's a lot of times long-term recovery um, long-term recovery committees that get some of the local charitable organizations involved in helping people fully recover as well so we work hand in hand with the federal state and local officials and really try to make sure as best we can get every person that's impacted by these storms to get back to pre-disaster condition. And uh, for the people that have yet to register, as, as many of them probably have, do they have a certain deadline to meet before they can, uh, or while they can receive these benefits? Yeah, the, the deadline is July 8th, so time is of the essence. People should, if they haven't registered with FEMA, the number that's on the screen, 800-621-3362. It's important to register. Um, they can go right to the center and get one-stop service from the federal agencies involved. We can look at their situation for an SBA loan. We may determine that they don't qualify for a loan on the spot, and we would refer them to the FEMA other needs assistance that they might have uh, available to them. So that's it, it. With the deadline approaching July 8th, we would really like to make sure people get that service and get taken it, you know, get get the assistance they need while the time uh, is still open for them. Yeah, because I mean, many people out there probably from the flooding, they do need this assistance. And it's it's great that you all are offering this, uh, this uh, it's a program for them to uh, to receive it. Well, the, and the, another key message that we try to convey is, of course, we know that in other parts of the state, in Joplin, they were hit so such great damage out there. But these funds are available for all the the state residents that were impacted by the disaster. So you're not just because you're getting FEMA assistance here in Stoddard County. You're not taking away anything that would go to the Joplin uh, victims, the people that are surviving that that huge uh, tornado out there. There are direct funds available from FEMA and the U.S. Small Business Administration for the folks here in the counties that that um, you know may not have had as severe damage, but they definitely have damage. And for anybody that was flooded or impacted. This, uh, this is a big disaster for them as well, not just, uh, maybe not the entire community, but it's a little more isolated. But we don't want to, you know, this is a, a, an area that people are self-sufficient, the, the show me state, they like to, you know, take care of themselves. And this is, these are federal disaster funds that are made available because of the impact of these presidential declared disaster so it, it's something they should take advantage of any questions they might have specifically if they can't get to the centers they can call FEMA at the number that's on the screen and they can call the SBA at we have a number they can ask any questions they would like and that phone number is 800 um, 659 2955 and that's 800 six five nine two nine five five and they can call the SBA directly and ask questions about loans and their insurance and things like that once they're assigned a, a loan officer we'll work with their them directly with their insurance recoveries if they have insurance we'll make sure that they're taken care of as best we can and if they can't afford additional debt we won't push that on them. It's only if they can utilize it to, to recover from this storm. 
Yeah, and again, uh, just so that everyone knows, this Disaster Assistance Recovery Center is at Bloomfield. It will be there till Tuesday at 6, 6 p.m. Tuesday, July, June uh, 28th. It'll be there uh, 9 to 6 uh, each day, closed on Sunday. And um, so please get in there and take advantage of that, uh, getting any questions you might have answered. And uh, we'd like to help you recover as best we can. And again, that deadline is July 8th. July 8th. Yeah. Now, one last thing I'll answer about uh, there are businesses that are uh, maybe impacted. They might not have had physical damage, but they might have, one of their largest customers might have been impacted. They have economic injury loans that are available to them, and where their working capital to keep their business afloat gets impacted. They uh, usually don't see the implications or the the, the effects of that for a little bit longer period of time. So those loans for businesses, they have the uh, time frame of up to February 9th of next year to apply. So they have a longer time frame uh, based on the impact that they might have felt from these these storms that came through here. So, um, but the general public for physical damage, any actual flood, tornado, or storm damage, they have till July 8th to get their applications in. Well, Garth, we appreciate you coming in. Thank All you right. very much. And uh, Thanks, Greg. Again, like he said, if you have any questions, call that number on your screen at 1-800-621-3362, and uh, we'll hopefully get you some assistance at that number. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure uh, being here, and I hope the folks in the whole county and beyond can get uh, get help so yeah appreciate your time and uh, we're going to take a short break and